soft, creamy, bittersweet. I'm talking about durians. We love it so much that we import more than 20 million kilograms of it every year. That's about two to four durians for every adult Singaporean. When the durians are in season, like how often will you eat it? Probably once a week. Once oh, a week, okay. Yeah. And each time you have it, how many how many seeds would you have? Like ah, three to four, yes. Ten to fifteen seeds. That one. Two. Two, two seeds. Two. No, two fruits. Two full durians. Yeah. I probably finish a whole box, like about six, seven. And do you ever limit yourself? Do you worry about? No, 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 no limit, no limit. Why well, you not? Durian, you can't limit. Why cannot? <laughs> you know, it's too good to limit. You just have to go on and on, on and on until you feel that uh, probably you feel a bit of sore throat. Uh, some people stress that uh, it will give you fever because when you eat durian, your body uh, grows hot. I think after that you feel very satisfied, but then later on you feel that uh, you got a sore throat or something like that. It's too heaty. I would say it makes you feel heaty. I spoke to many durian lovers, and some like me say they eat the fruit, but in moderation. But could this fruit be misunderstood? A quick online search gives us loads of articles espousing the benefits of eating this green thorny grenade of a fruit. Some suggest that durants improve our blood pressure. They are even said to be good for our immune system. Now you either love or hate this fruit. I don't mind the occasional indulgence when it's in season, but if there are benefits to eating it, I want to know if the durian is indeed the king of fruits when it comes to nutrition. And which among these different varieties might be the most beneficial to my health? Hmm. Kelvin Tan used to sell newspapers. Today, he runs workshops on how to go about choosing durians. Hello. Hello. He's invited me for a special kind of dinner. Wow, it looks pretty good. Yes, the special thing about this dinner is that all of the dishes here that you see contains durian. Wait, durians in all of these? Everything? Every single dish. No dishes. way. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh. Let me introduce some durian dishes over on the tea table. So we have the durian chendol. Yeah, that one's obviously a durian. <laughs> durian waffle. We do have durian fried rice and seafood with coconut and durian. And then we got one durian chicken soup. I was wondering for a moment, durian chicken soup. So instead of chicken, we're having durians inside. Okay, please enjoy the meal. Thank you, thank you. Wow, so everything in here has durians. Okay, let's try this chicken herbal durian soup. Yeah. Hmm, I can smell the chicken soup, but I also smell the durians. Yes, the durian smell really hits you quite hard. So, when did our food start getting so unusual, you know, having durians and all these things? Okay, so traditionally, right, um, there are durian dishes in the Malaysian kampongs. Mm. One of the dishes mm. is this ferment called tempoyak. I think the newest innovative dishes, right, durian dishes are things like the durian fried rice and the oh. soup, yes, the Chinese herbal soup. So these dishes are catered more of uh, towards the Chinese communities. Because okay. ever since 2019, when the durians are entering the Chinese market, right, we really see an explosion of uh, dishes uh -huh. that is more catered to the Chinese taste buds. I expected them to smell a lot more too. But walking in this restaurant, I, I actually didn't smell any durians. The smell of the durian is actually made up of hundreds of um, volatile compounds. Yeah. Some of them are sulfur compounds, that's why they smell a bit like rotten eggs. But when you actually cook it, uh, most of these volatile compounds, they change. Okay. So, um, the smell and the aroma will get a, li a little bit more muted. What's the most unusual durian dish you've ever had? Um, durian hot pot, I guess. Durian coffee. I've also tried durian kaya. Mm, so you have it like a paste. And also barbecue durians. Barbecue? You barbecue the durian seed? Uh, yes, the whole durian. So Wait, basically, barbecue the they whole barbecue durian? the whole durian. Yes, so, so it's a hot durian? It's, it's a, a hot durian. It's a bit hot. Yes. I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> sound very good to me. <laughs> we are eating durians in so many different forms now, which makes me more determined to find out if durians are indeed good for me. Professor Tae Bin Tian has mapped the complete genetic blueprint of the durian, all in the name of medical research. So Prof, I understand that durians have you know, vitamins, minerals, and mm -hmm. I'm wondering, is it actually good for us? 
Yeah, indeed, the uh, durian does contain uh, minerals like phosphorus, uh, sulfur, potassium, and magnesium, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, vitamins A, B, and C. Okay. And in fact, more recently, a study has shown that it also contains a vitamin B9, which is folate. Okay. Uh, it's essential for our red blood cell formation, uh, our genetic material production, and even uh, proper uh, cell division. So obviously, it's very nutritious and very good for our health. So one of the studies that we currently are doing is to investigate how durian consumption uh, can impact our immunity and particularly related to our gut health. Oh. Uh, so there's now a scientific evidence to show that uh, you know, the bacteria in our gut yeah. play a very important role in our immunity. And uh, we want to study uh, how durian consumption can change the type of bacteria and their load oh. in our gut. So do you suspect that durians have quite a lot of good bacteria? Yes. But there are so many different types of durians. Could one be healthier than the other? Before I find out, I need to be schooled on the varieties out there. I'm making my way to the Durian Times to find Jaden To. He's been selling durians for the past seven years. His fruits hail from his own plantation in Tangkat, Malaysia. So actually, how many different varieties of durian are there? There will be more than hundreds of variety around the world. Really? Yeah, including from uh, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam. Okay. And also, lastly, is uh, from Malaysia. So why are there so many different varieties? Uh, okay, mainly it's because of the environment, I would say. Okay. Uh, because some is on a higher attitude, some on a lower attitude, as well as the soil, the surrounding condition. Okay. So once a typical uh, variety become popular, like people love it, and all, they will actually bring it to the agriculture department all right. to code it officially. Some of the trees, right, they will actually crossbreed. Uh. That's why sometimes you have different types of uh, variety that come out and once it starts to become popular, right, farmer will start to grow more of it. So, which are the most popular ones here in Singapore? Okay, what we have, right, is usually Golden Phoenix. Okay. Okay, we have XO. We have Mao Shan Wang, D24, as well as Black Thorn. Of these five pounds here, okay. which is the most expensive? The most expensive one, I would say, will be Black Thorn. The last one. Okay. Correct. Followed by Mao Shan Wang. Okay. Then Golden Phoenix. Followed by XO. XO. And D24. D24. Which is the one that sells the best? More than 50%. Okay, they will usually go for Mao Shan Wang. So why are some of these much more expensive than the others? Uh, I would say it's because of the supply and demand because everyone goes for Mao Shan Wang. Okay. That's why uh, the price become higher. But does it mean that if it's more expensive, therefore it's uh, more healthy durian? Um, for this, I, I wouldn't know. To find out, I'm gathering three different varieties of durians, which are among the most popular types here. Mao Shan Wang, XO, D24. I'm also throwing in one of the rarest varieties, the Black Thorn. This elusive durian can outprice even the most highly sought after Mao Shan Wang. I'm sending them off to a lab to be tested for calories, sugar content, vitamin C, and potassium. These are all vitamins and minerals said to be high in content in durians. The durant won't be the only ones going through a test. My five seeds for today's consumption. Eating it every day is just too much. I've sent four different varieties of durants to a lab to be tested on their nutritional content because I want to know which among some of our more popular durants are the healthiest. It will take 10 days before the results are out. Little did I know, my producer has other things up his sleeves. Hey Steve. Yep. New assignment. What's this? You have to eat one serving of these durians every day for the next two weeks. Every day for two weeks? No way. Well, they say it's nutritious, right? So we got to find out what it does to our bodies. Guess I'll have to be the guinea pig once again. Okay, okay. So in the name of science, here's another Steve tries experiment. 
Wait a minute. Before I embark on this crazy idea, I first need to make sure that I'm in tip-top condition for this. <sighs> so I'm getting my baseline health markers checked. At this clinic, my weight is checked, my blood pressure taken, and my blood drawn to ascertain my blood glucose level. My urine was also taken to check my potassium levels. Wait, wait, wait. You're not coming in here. Along with cholesterol and kidney function, we're also going to see if eating duant every day will affect my digestion and blood pressure. And today I'm having the Mao Shang Wang, and I'm gonna go for five of these seeds. Mmm. There you have it, my five seeds, a typical serving. I'm gonna do this every day for the next two weeks. In fact, that was kind of delicious. I think I can do this and enjoy it. Mm. Ooh, that waft, the smell, <laughs> it always hits you. Mm. Somehow the, the idea that I'm having to eat this every day is starting to sink in. <laughs> what did I get myself into again? So it's been about an hour since I've had those durians and I've just been lazing here on my sofa. I've noticed that whenever I eat durians, I feel a lot more sluggish. It's like, you know, my, my tummy's full, I feel weighted down, I feel a bit bloated. Okay, there you go, my five seeds for today. And you know what? I gotta say, it's getting a lot tougher. I'm feeling a bit more uncomfortable. Kind of um, heaty. Yeah, I guess that's the word. Heaty. Some people I spoke to earlier also mentioned how durands are somewhat heaty. But what exactly does heaty mean? Well, we look at the heaty fruits or cooling fruits here. Okay. So you can see that, okay, this group is heaty. We have durand, mango, longan, chives. And this group is cooling fruits like watermelon, orange, cucumber. So heaty fruits have the ability to warm, improve circulation, dispel cold and stimulate the body. So when these heaty fruits are taken in excess, uh -huh. you will feel symptoms like um, headaches, fever, sore throat, mouth ulcer, excessive thirst, redness in the skin and irritability. Really? Why when I eat them do I become heaty? From TCM point of view, mm -hmm. uh, when the body uh, functions in its optimal state, when there is a balance of yin and yang. Mm -hmm. Okay, yin and yang are two opposite yet complementary energies. So if there's an imbalance of the body, then it will lead to disease. So actually, I've been eating durians uh, already for the past, what, I don't know, a few days, four or five days. And it's true, some days I feel a bit more uncomfortable. Durians are considered heaty okay. as it helps, it warms the body. So you can pair up with watermelon juice or you know, mango steam or coconut water to counter the heaty effects of the durian. So I've had a whole bunch of durians earlier today and still feeling a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit warm and like heaty. So I figure, why not have some ice cream? Mm. Plus, it helps remove a bit of that durian flavour that keeps lingering in my mouth. Mm. They say drink from the husk and that will help remove the heatiness in you. Doesn't taste very good, but, and I don't know, I don't feel any different. So maybe the after effect a little bit later. Guess I need to do some more myth busting about durians. And helping me this time is food scientist William Chen. Many say how you should uh, drink from the husk after eating durians. It will help cool you down, remove the heatiness. Is that true? Well, scientifically, we call it flavonoid or polyphenols. Okay. These are the natural uh, compounds present in durian, and they have these antioxidant and uh, anti-inflammatory properties. Oh. So okay. that, in a sense, can link to this uh, cooling down effect that people believe in. The thing is that these substances, they may not be in large amount, so the efficiency changes. Okay. So it sounds a bit like if 
if it makes you feel better and you think you are feeling better, then I, good for you, but yeah. there's no real evidence to prove yeah. that it works. A lot of times we hear people saying you cannot eat durians and drink alcohol at the same time. Is that true? Well, let's first go through the, the process of uh, drinking alcohol, right? Okay. So when we drink alcohol, our body would release enzyme to degrade alcohol such that it's not harmful to our body. Or to break down the alcohol. To break down alcohol. Okay. So there are two steps. Each step involves one particular enzyme. But then when we eat durian, for some reason, the, the second step is not working anymore. Oh. Such that the, the breakdown process is not complete. Oh, so meaning when I drink alcohol, it sort of breaks down two steps, but yeah. when I eat durians, the second step is blocked, so there's more alcohol build up. Yeah, yeah, so oh. that gives rise to the hangover feeling. Well, I guess you'll never catch me drinking alcohol and eating durians. Especially not as I enter the final days of my two-week durian binge. I'm about to find out what it's really doing to my body. And the results of my nutrition test on the different varieties of durians are also out. Based on the result we have, durian D will have the best nutrition. It's been two weeks, and the results of my nutritional test on the different duet varieties are out. If you recall, I sent four of our favourite duets. Mao Shan Wang, D24, XO, as well as one of the rarest and priciest duets, the Black Thorn. To be tested for calories, sugar content, vitamin C, which is good for our immunity, and potassium, which affects kidney function. So a typical serving, which one uh, came out best? <laughs> well, uh, based on the result we have on here, you can see that uh, durian beer has the highest calories, about 540 kilocalories, while the least durian A at 410 kilocalories per serving size. Okay, so is that considered quite a lot, 540 kilocalories? That is a recommended daily intake, uh, about average 2,000 calories a day for an adult individual. Ah. So this is easily one, one quarter of your daily intake? Yes, it's about if one quarter. If you have just two, three seeds of durian, you've had done one quarter of your daily yes, intake. Yes, that's right. For calories, okay. For the protein and the sugar levels, mm. the results among the four durians are quite comparable. Protein, Between... seven and eight grams. Yeah. We don't see any big difference among them. Okay. And vitamin C, so from the results, we can see that durian D has the highest amount of vitamin C at 112.5 mg per wow. serving size. Okay, whereas the lowest is durian B, 46 mg. So almost like one third of durian D. Potassium. So potassium, we have the highest potassium recorded for durian A at 1,500.3 mg per serving size. Okay. And we have the lowest for durian B at 1,243.8 mg per serving size. Okay. Now let's just compare the four different varieties. Can we say which is the best in terms of uh, nutrition? I would say that uh, based on the result we have, durian D will have the best nutrition because of the okay. highest amount of vitamin C that it has compared to the rest. It's almost twice as much. Okay and it also did not have the highest calories. It did not have the highest calories. It only has 440 calories, and it's about uh, in the middle of the four. I guess you can say Duan D, the Black Thorn, which is also the most expensive variety, is the true king of fruits. Meanwhile, my own two-week Duan experiment is finally over. Of all the experiments I've done, I think eating durians is uh, not too difficult. But it's the, the weightiness of this fruit, the fact that it makes you feel so full each time. And there's a bit of discomfort, so that part is not so enjoyable. I'm back at the doctor's clinic. Wish me luck. So hey doc, I'm back here, it's been two weeks and I'm eager to know if my body has changed much because of durians. 
Well, today your uh, assessment shows your weight has reduced by a kg compared to when you first came. Besides your uh, weight, uh, your blood pressure was also good, normal, okay. and there's absolutely no change in your blood pressure. I did expect to put on a bit of weight. Yeah, okay, no, but well, uh, the, probably the amount that you ate is not enough. Yeah, ah. yeah. Probably because durian kept you full, you didn't eat all the other food uh, as much. Yeah, uh, it is yeah. very filling. It's actually. very filling. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, there was yeah. one day when I ate just durian for lunch. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Your cholesterol levels okay. have remained more or less the same, as expected is a okay. common uh, misconception that durian has cholesterol and this confirms that durian does not have cholesterol. Now we will look at your uh, sugar result, okay? okay. Um, How sweet your I? glucose fasting after durian is uh, slightly higher than mm. before but it's within the normal range. Okay. okay. Now your pancreas, your body is able to cope with uh, sugar load in these two weeks. So right. it didn't go out because you are not pre-diabetic, you are not at risk. Okay. So, you know, your body is able to compensate for this. But for someone who is what? Well, uh, who diabetic? is a diabetic, pre-diabetic, it will definitely affect uh, ah. and, and push it out of range. Okay. Yeah. So for them, they... They have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The other thing is uh, confirms that your urine potassium is raised. Right. Because there's a potassium load on the body right. and your kidney has to filter it out because uh, it's too much for you and yeah. so uh, this potassium has leaked out. The amount of potassium in the durian, I mean, it, it is very high. It is know? high, high. it is yeah. high. And it's evident by it leaking in your urine as well. But that's okay. As long as your kidneys are able to process it, uh, there's no danger with regards okay. to this. So people who have renal dysfunction, yeah. and uh, they, they have to be careful with uh, the high potassium in, in uh, durians. So overall, would you say the durian is a healthy fruit? I think uh, durian is uh, a healthy fruit. Okay. Uh, it has zero cholesterol. It has some good uh, fat, fats, uh, the monounsaturated. Uh, it's, it's rich in vitamin C. Yep. Uh, it has a lot of polyphenols. Uh, it has a lot of fibers and all that. And uh, the advice is really to mix durians with uh, other healthy food uh, and not uh, just focus on durian by itself. Well, I set out to investigate if durians are indeed the king of fruits. You know what? Long live the king! Durians actually have a good amount of vitamin C. They even have more potassium than bananas. And they have no cholesterol. But you got to watch out for those calories and all that sugar because those durians will certainly fill you up. Otherwise, indulge when you have the urge to. As for me, let's just say I'm all duraned out, especially for now.